YouTube, we back with another video. It's your boy LSP Wavy. If you're new to the channel, I need you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on no content, okay? We running them numbers up on the subscribers. We definitely finna do a big, fat, funky giveaway pretty soon, and I don't want y'all to miss out on it, all right? Special shout out to the subscribers who've been there from the bottom. We getting it out the mud, and we running them numbers up, okay? Today's video is basically talking about what you should do after a haircut, okay? It's a a lot of videos out there with this topic. I watched some of them. I seen other waivers send y'all off to saying anything just to get get some views. It's it's crazy with all the misconception that's out there. We are gonna get into the truth about what you should do after a haircut. All right, after this intro. Okay, YouTube, we back. If y'all seen my last video, it was basically, I had a 15 week wolf. I cut it, self cut, I don't go to barbers. Maybe one day I'll do a video of actually going to the barber. Haven't been to the barber in about five years, okay? But my last video, I did a self cut. I cut to different lengths in different ways. It's called haircut manipulation. If your hair grows shorter or thinner in a certain spot, you gotta learn how to work the clippers to, to, to make it look crispy, okay? That's neither here nor there. What should you do after a haircut, all right? A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't wash because you should, you wanna keep the lines crispy and the tapers and all that stuff. Listen, man, listen. I even heard somebody say, and this is no shade, no shade, all right? A person said, don't wash your hair unless it itches, okay? That's crazy as hell, okay? This is my opinion on the topic of a, what you should do after a haircut, okay? I'm gonna tell you the truth. Wash your hair, okay? If you ain't washing your hair within the first 24 hours of that haircut, you nasty. You nasty, okay? You sitting in these barber chairs and you can have the best, greatest, dopest barber in the world and his clippers may be dirty, he may not have sanitized them in between clients. Somebody with a ringworm in their head could have just got out his chair and he trying to rush to get you in and get you out, but he just put that bacteria and germ infested clipper in your head. And y'all telling me that you not gonna wash your hair because you want them lines to remain crispy? You nasty. You nasty. Listen, man, I get it, okay? I get it. Y'all get in the barber chair. You want the full experience, you know what I'm saying? You want the lining, you want the tapers, you want to be fresh. Maybe you going out that night after you get that haircut. You know what I'm saying? You want to step out outside, you, your girl, your guy, you know, whatever your preference is. I'm not here to judge, but you want to be fresh as possible. I get it. And, and, and washing your hair, yes, it will dull them lineups a, a tad bit, okay? Even some people say it takes away from some of your definition in your waves. I don't know how that's possible, okay? Because if you lose definition in your waves, that means you never had it to begin with. A washing style or a scramble wash should not take your definition or your depth of your waves out, okay? So, hey, this is gonna be a real quick video. I'm gonna show y'all basically a clip of how I wash my hair. The, I wanna say, 10 hours after I washed my, after I cut my hair, I washed it. And it, these are my clippers. I know that I clean my clippers on a regular basis. I got two boys, I cut their hair, I sanitize them, I spray them, I clean them. Between uses, after uses, before uses, I wanna make sure that everything is clean. I don't want the back of my neck looking like Nestle Crunch. That's nasty. It's a lot of y'all out there with the back of y'all neck looking like that, man. You know why? Because the clippers are dirty or you're not cleaning properly. So, and, and don't get me wrong, some people do have a skin disorder, okay? And it just, it happens like that. You got keloids and stuff on the back of your neck, behind your ear. You may not be able to help that. You may need to see a dermatologist, okay? But that's neither here nor there. What you can avoid is bumps from dirty clippers. Bumps, cysts pimples, just nastiness, Nestle Crunch Bars, okay? Okay, on the back of your neck. Same thing for under your neck, okay? If you got a beard and you're getting it lined up and trimmed up under there, the best way to not get bumps under your neck is 
to take the first of all don't use a straight razor some people your, your, your skin is gonna break out if you use a straight razor it's no ifs and a but about it okay so if you're getting bumps and you're actually using a razor stop and let your skin heal and see if the bumps go away or if they continue to come back okay that's one reason is a, a razor okay a lot of people's skin can't take the, they're too sensitive for razors okay next up is the clippers you know uh, the liners if you use your liners to get up under your neck and stuff or your barber does try not to go up against the grain okay that causes ingrown hairs all right so if, again if you got bumps down here try hitting with the clipper going down okay stroke it down it, yes it may not be the cleanest cut but i'd rather have a little bit of stubble as opposed to having a neck full of dingleberries okay I done seen some nasty pictures out there, man. And the fact that y'all really got waivers out here telling y'all not to wash your hair after a haircut is beyond me. It's beyond me. Wash your hair after your haircut, okay? I get it. You get out the chair. You finna go out. You finna get out a night on the town or whatever. And you don't have time to go home and shower or wash your hair or whatever the case may be. I get it. But when you do get home, take a shower, wash your hair, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Wash your hair, please, man. I get a lot of questions in my DM, my inbox on Facebook. What, what can they do about bumps on their face, bumps on their neck, back of their neck? Like, I'm telling y'all, man, you got to wash your hair. You got to, you got to, even with pimples, you know what I'm saying? On your face, you got to cleanse, you got to moisturize. Skin is skin. I don't care what part of your body it is. It all has to take the same amount of care given to it. You want to clean. You want to moisturize it after you clean. You want to throw some lotion or butter on to seal in that moisture. Just like your hair. Skin is the same thing. It needs proper care. Okay, so I, this video is definitely not going to be that long. I just wanted to get in here real quick and tell y'all what I do after my haircut. I wash, I do a washing style, I rag up, I rinse it out. When I take that rag off, I'm putting in some type of moisturizer and I'm sealing it in with a butter or an oil. Simple. Simple video. We ain't going to drag this on. Wash your hair. Stop being nasty. And I'll see y'all in the next video.